Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron, as most of you know from Finkdom Languages. Today I want to talk about how you guys can help uh, with a project that I'm starting where I'm going to be making free language learning materials for anyone who wants it. Uh, and this project is going to be open source. So if you're interested in helping, you can just jump right in and contribute whatever you can. Um, and we will all benefit. Uh, I want to um, create kind of a uh, library of resources for anyone to go on. And um, it'll be mainly reading material, you know, comprehensible input, which I always talk about as being one of the best ways to learn a language. Uh, and anyone can just go on this website and, um, and spend some time reading in their foreign language, in their target language, I should say. Uh, and uh, hopefully it will encompass a lot of different language learning materials. So if you're interested in that, uh, that would be great. I would be uh, very thankful and uh, as would a lot of other people who are learning the language that you can help out with. Um, and you know, everyone has a native language. So it doesn't matter if you're learning the language, it doesn't matter, you can contribute something in your target language. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, in your native language. So uh, let's see, I should have had this pulled up before I started the live stream. Um, anyways, if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, and let me know who you are, where you're from. This is for everyone in general, whether you're gonna help or not. Uh, let me know where you're from, um, what language you're learning, what, what your native language is. And uh, also, I wanna hear a little bit about how you guys, um, about your, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the, this site as I talk. I wanna hear a little bit about the most effective ways that you guys have found to help you learn your target language and things that have helped others learn your native language, which is really what we're gonna talk about here. Okay, I'm going to share this link uh, with you guys right now, okay? Um, oh man, I should have done this uh, so that I could share my screen. But anyways, it's okay. All right, there's the site that uh, I am trying to start building some of these language materials on. This is open source, okay? So uh, you can follow the link and follow along if you're on a laptop or something. If not, uh, if you're on a phone or something, you probably can't uh, listen to me talk while checking out the site. Um, but anyways, there's the website um, that I have created that I wanna start um, getting help with making some language learning resources. Okay, I've already made a few um, just, you know, that I've kind of thrown up there sort of as examples. Um, and this is gonna be all around comprehensible input, okay? Stories, all right? Um, most of you know I've written a book called uh, The Little Dragon. You know, it's, it's available on Amazon. It's designed to be very easy, very simple for language learners to understand and read without, you know, without a whole lot of help from, um, uh, from uh, uh, tutors or teachers or anything. You can kind of just uh, read it yourself. Uh, sorry, Brett Annalyn says, uh, I'd like to help if I can. I'm a pretty decent programmer. If the idea is some sort of application, sadly won't be able to watch the stream and find out though. Ah, okay, well, unfortunately, um, Brett's probably not here, but uh, maybe I'll get into contact with Brett later. Um, anyways, um, the, I've just shared the link in the chat of the live stream. Uh, I'll also put it in the description below this video later for people who watch this later. Um, so I, I call it the or Open Source Lessons Project. Um, maybe not necessarily lessons, but just uh, resources, little stories, books, audio clips that people can uh, compile in this, this website and this little library that I'm creating. Um, I gotta turn my fan on, it's getting hot in here. Um, just to read through or listen through or watch if you feel like creating a, uh, a video to add. Um, and it'll all just be comprehensible input. So you, we're creating things that are simple to understand if you're a language learner. Um, that means basic vocabulary, uh, maybe somewhat repetitive, like 
uses the same words, you know, because I always say um, learning a language is a process of learning something and then forgetting it and then relearning it. And then that process of forgetting, relearning, forgetting and relearning that starts to solidify your your ability to speak the language in your mind that that helps you remember those words. So I like to use lots of repetition in my book. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of creating a new book now, um, but my last book, Little Dragon, you know, it's about a little dragon who he wants to eat, uh, he wants donuts and he goes around asking people for a donut. He asks his mom for a donut, he asks his dad for a donut, he asks his teacher and they keep telling him, no, dragons don't eat donuts, dragons eat meat, right? And he goes around searching. He searches in, you know, he searches in the flower field. He searches in the beehive. He searches in the, the rabbit. He, he searches in the, um, the 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 apple tree, right? So it's repetitive. He keeps using the same some of the same vocabulary over and over, and it's not difficult to understand. That's kind of the goal. That's kind of the concept that I like to employ when creating language learning materials. Um, in fact, I'm just going to read to you guys the um, the intro to this open source lessons project. Okay, it says this page is dedicated to creating a library of free stories anyone can use to learn language languages. My vision is to facilitate a community of language lovers who can work together to create graded readers, meaning, you know. Uh, texts, books, or audio that are um, designed for, for people who are learning the language, okay? And it says beginner and inter intermediate level texts, audio stories, and videos in many languages. Research shows that one of the best ways to acquire a foreign language naturally is to spend lots of time reading and listening to materials in that language. But they must be materials that are appropriate for your current level. In other ways, I mean, in other words, you don't want to, let's say you're learning Russian. You don't just open up War and Peace and start reading Russian, right? Because you're not going to learn anything. You have to start learning materials, learning with materials that are appropriate for the current level you're at. Uh, I just see Stephen Brooks says, King of Language Learning. Thank you. I don't claim that title, but uh, I like, I appreciate the thought. So anyways, you, you start reading and listening to material that you can understand most of it. You can't understand everything, right? Like you're gonna, you're gonna read and listen to materials that are just a little bit out of your range, but you can understand most of it, okay? So it's comprehensible. Um, the problem is that it is often hard to find lots of content that is easy enough to understand, but challenging enough to keep you learning. That's where this open source language project, language lesson project comes in. All right, you can all see the current stories and translations by clicking here, and then I give a little link to the open source lessons library. All right, all content is listed on the pages. All content listed on these pages will be free and in the public domain forever. If you are interested in joining the movement to help create free content for language learners, check out the information below. And then I give some examples. Um, hi, Nick. Thanks for joining. Uh, hi, Princess Yup from the Philippines. Uh, Nick says, I think that should be a little bit more organized. Let's say on levels, not languages. Uh, that would make navigation easier, just saying, on the site. Yeah, right. So um, actually, if you click on the link that I have listed on the open source website page, um, it is, uh, it, it's divided by languages, and then it'll be divided by levels afterwards. Um, uh, um, but I want it to be first organized by, by language, right? Because you, let's say you're a beginner in Spanish. It doesn't do you any good to see all the beginner French and Hindi and, and Urdu lessons, right? You want to stick with whatever language you're learning. Okay. And then after the, the level of the, the language, it'll divide into le the level of the, uh, of of, of level, right, of your proficiency in the language. So um, that is the premise of this web. Who are just joining now, I'm gonna share this link again. Can you guys see this link? Is it working um, for you? 
It's uh, sites.google.com slash view slash thinktem, uh, thinktem lessons, open source, slash open source lessons. <laughs> OK. Um, OK, uh, Doc's Heart from California says, I'm down with that open source. It would be great for Asian languages like Indian ones who are really hard to find resources for them. Yes, exactly. That's actually partially what drove my uh, wanting to start this project. OK, so um, I was learning Thai, and it's just really hard to find stories, books, things for, that I could use to learn Thai. right? And I was willing to pay, but I just couldn't find anything that was really good. So um, that was part of the reason why I decided to write this book up here. Um, it was translated into Thai, and uh, I had a professional translator do it, you know. And um, it was really helpful for learning Thai. So uh, then I thought, hey, you know, this doesn't have to be necessarily a paid gig. There's a lot of people on my channel who are willing to help other people learn a language. You know, we have people that could be writing stories, people that can be translating them, people that can be proofreading. Okay, it can be an open source thing, a grassroots thing where everyone comes together and pitches in something. Okay, uh, in fact, I have a, uh, a little thing at towards the bottom of this page that says what roles can or how can you help? Okay, we need writers, translators, proofreaders, and narrators or videographers. Okay, if we want some of these, uh, some of these stories to have like audio content or, or even videos. Um, and so let's take a look. I really wish I would. I, I should have um, done this live stream where I could show you my screen. I'm not sure why I didn't. Now that I'm live streaming, I realized that was a lack of foresight. Okay, Doc Hart says, I'm having a hard time finding resources for Vietnamese. Okay, yeah, that's the point here. Um, if anyone is, if anyone on here who's listening speaks Vietnamese, either as a native language or as a second language fluently, um, there's, a method by which you can translate some of the contents that I have on here already listed uh, or come up with your own content in Vietnamese so that Doc's Heart has something that they can read in, in Vietnamese, right, and, and a project. Um, Lucas Santos says, why don't you make a Discord for the project? Actually, that's a really good idea. I should do that. Um, thank you for that suggestion, actually. I, I do want to start doing that. Uh, what I did do sort of on the lines is I left, I had, I created a, um, a Padlet thing. <laughs> do you know what Padlet is? It's like a little message board. So if you go to the website and if you scroll down a little bit, um, you scroll down past the examples, scroll down past how you can help. There's a discuss this project. So if you have any questions about how it works, you want to just leave in an encouragement or just you know say hey everyone i'm working on a story in vietnamese or i'm working on a translation in vietnamese um or in thai or whatever uh you can leave a little comment down there in fact if someone wouldn't mind testing that out for me you can just little leave a little comment say hey this padlet thing works you know i'm excited for the project or something like that uh, that would be uh, helpful just to make sure I, I can. Okay, Doc says um, text and audio for Vietnamese. Right, yeah, so that's kind of what I want people to start contributing. Okay, so if you see up front, the very first thing I have is it says, I mean, the very first thing after the description, it says examples. All right, and then it says the water bottle is a simple dialogue between two characters. The water bottle is the name of the story. It's a simple dialogue between two characters. Here are three versions of it. So far, the story has been translated into English and Spanish, and it can exist in more languages with your help. Okay. And I show a video of my wife and I reenacting, like acting out the story, the dialogue here. All right, um, it then shows the English translation and the Spanish translation, all right? If you speak another language, either fluently or as your native language, um, and you feel inclined to translate this story, the water bottle, um, this, this dialogue, um, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page, 
and it says submit your content here and then you just click i want to submit an original story or a translation in in whatever language and then um you leave me either a link to like a Google Doc or you can just type out the whole thing into the little um, submission box down there. Uh, and then you submit your story, either your translation or your original story. Okay, so the water bottle is a, an example of a beginner story um, that I just wrote kind of off the top of my head. Um, it's very simple, right? It's just two characters. Tina says, I'm thirsty. Aaron says, well, drink some water. Then Tina says, where's my water bottle? And Aaron says, I don't know. Tina, can you help me find it? Yeah, let's look for your water bottle. Okay, right, it's a simple story. And then they go around looking for the water bottle. Did you look in the tent? If they're, you know, they're camping. Did you look in the tent? No, I didn't look in the tent. Did you find, did you look in the truck? Yes, I looked into the truck. It's not in there, you know, and then they keep, they keep just going around looking for the water bottle. It's a simple story, it's kind of dumb. Uh, I just sort of came up with it off the top of my head. I'm sure you guys can come up with more interesting stories either in English or in your target language. Um, but anyways, that's the point of this, right? I want to get um, material back from you guys. So if you don't mind taking half an hour, an hour or whatever, just come up with a story and then you submit it in the little submission box towards the bottom of the page, okay? If you're not creative, you don't like writing, you don't think anyone, you know, if that's not your strong suit, uh, translations, you know, um, this water bottle, uh, it, the water bottle story, it exists in English and Spanish right now. I suppose I could do a French one, uh, maybe an Esperanto. I'm probably not confident enough in my Esperanto, All right? Like we, I want to create content for people to read in their target language, but only if you're, if you know you're proficient enough to actually translate the language well. Well, okay. Um, and then beneath that water bottle story, I have another example that's more intermediate. Okay, and it, it, it kind of takes the, the form of a play, right? And I often say that plays are easy to read because when you're reading a play, let me see if I can grab a play from up here. Um, Okay, I, I, I like the format of the play for language learning because, you know, you can see here, you always know exactly who's speaking. It explicitly tells you who's speaking. So that's why um, both of the stories that I have listed, both of the example stories I have listed on this website are in the format of the play. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that um, if you want to submit something else of your own creation. Um, but play the play format is really beneficial for um, for language learners. Let me take a look at some of the comments here. Okay, um, Rachel Harris says I'd like to learn Indonesian purely through immersion, YouTube and podcasts, etc. But I'm totally blind. Uh, Will having troubles seeing what happens make the input less comprehensive? Um, no. So. Um, I mean, you know, it might, it might make it less comprehensible if you're, you know, listening to a movie, right, where you're supposed to be getting some of your input through your eyes. Um, but you can listen to podcasts, right? Um, you can, you can uh, listen to audio that's designed to not have comprehensible um, visual cues. You know, the, the vision is nice for, um, it's nice for uh, making content more comprehensible, okay? Because when you're watching a movie, you know, I can watch a movie and I can just see what's happening, even if I don't understand all of the words they're using, you know, so you lose some of that if you're not watching. Um, I actually, I uh, have a video uh, on my channel by, um, what's her name? Chanel, Chanel Hansen. Um, and it's called language learning languages while blind or something like that. And, you know, what are the challenges of learning while blind? You know, because um, uh, Chanel is blind, and uh, and so she just talks about that video. You might want to look it up. She talks about that um, the challenges that come along with that and how she overcomes it, and is learning languages. Um, you know, so that might give you some good uh, some good input there, Rachel. 
Thanks for that question. Okay, so William Lopez says, I'm working right now. I can't stay here. I'm going to send you a message on Instagram or talk about the material. I'm really interested. That's awesome. I'm really glad, um, especially to have a bunch of different people who speak a whole bunch of different languages who wants to uh, who wants to help contribute. Lucas Santos says, I can't hear the bottle of butter, the bottle of water without remembering the English people be like meme. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> English people be like, I don't know. Okay. Um, Princess Yep says, wow, we just clicked the link. Thank you for making this for us. Yes. Well, I mean, um, it's not just for you, you know, it's for me. If someone makes, if someone translates these stories into Thai or into Greek or Esperanto or something, I'm going to benefit too. We're all going to benefit. Um, you know, and that's why it's free. Anyone can contribute and help out and then anyone can benefit. Uh, that's what our community is about here. You know, I, a lot of you have probably noticed that my, uh, I've kind of sort of started rebranding some of my channel and I, my new slogan is just simply learn that language. All right. And we're here to help each other do what we can to help each other learn that language, whatever language it is that's been on your mind. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, for those who are just joining, I'm going to share this link again because I know sometimes it gets buried in the chat. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's the link. If you're interested in contributing to the project or if you're interested in um, just benefiting, you know, just reading and listening, that's okay too. That's what it's there for. Um, but if, if you can, either write an original story in English or in whatever your native language is, write an original story. That's designed to be easy enough for language learners. Okay, you can share that on on this page. There's a little submission box that you can put your you can put your contribution in. Um, it, you know, so whether you write a of your own, that's just simple, short. You know, one page, two pages for beginners. You know, maybe 10, 15 pages if it's an intermediate. Um, whatever you want. So. We need people to submit original contents that they create and also translations, okay? And also we're gonna need proofreaders, okay? Because I don't want to be learning Thai from someone who was sloppy and made a bunch of mistakes in their translation of the Thai version of the water bottle, right? Um, so if a Thai speaker can go in and look and read through. Um, in fact, a lot of you guys uh, are native Spanish speakers I believe we have some native Spanish speakers, right? Like here's um, Lucas Santos, I think. Who else? Uh, Emmanuel Ramos from Argentina, right? Some of you guys are native Spanish speakers. Uh, I just did this translation by myself, okay, um, of the water bottle. So if you go on the page here and if you, um, you know, you go down to the example section, it has the video of the water bottle, it has the English translation of the water bottle, and then it, you know, the story of the water bottle. I have to keep saying that because I know people are joining. The short story is called The Water Bottle. And um, then I have the, Span the Spanish translation of La Botella de Agua, the water bottle, okay? And I just translated it into Spanish myself. Um, but I'm not a native Spanish speaker. It's, you know, and even if I was a native Spanish speaker, who's to say I didn't make some mistakes in there? Um, so with that said, uh, if you're a native speaker of Spanish and you want to, uh, if you are kind enough to take the time to go read through my Botella de Agua story, just to check and make sure I didn't make any mistakes, uh, you know, that would be really appreciated. And if you find a mistake, scroll down to the bottom, um, like I said multiple times, and it says, submit your content here. You can either submit an original story, a translation, or a correction of an existing story in this library. Okay, so if you find a mistake in my Spanish translation of the water bottle, um, just go down here, submit your content, just click, I am um, submitting a revision or a correction. And then you just write, you can either leave me a file of a corrected version, or you can um, just message you know, just leave a comment saying, hey, this is the mistake that I found. Okay, um, Maria Teg says, I'll translate, I'll try to translate to Romanian. I don't know if there's any learners though. That would be excellent, actually. Um, I don't know if you go back 
two, three years in uh, videos in my channel, you'll find that I was learning Romanian a few years ago and I was struggling to find Romanian content. Um, and yes, I promise you there are people here on this channel learning Romanian, right? I have, gosh, going on almost 20,000 subscribers of people who are learning languages. That's why they subscribe to this channel um, because they're learning a language. That's my channel slogan, learn that language, right? And some of those 20,000 people are definitely learning Romanian. I can promise you that. So it would be very appreciated. You know, just um, go to the website here. I'm gonna share the link again. I'm just gonna like share the crap out of this link, okay? Um, in fact, I need to go back and edit my, um, I need to edit the uh, thumbnail of this or the description of this video, real quick. Um, let me just do that. I should have added this in the beginning. Um, okay, I'm gonna change the description of this video to say, to participate in the free language lessons project, click this link. Okay. And it's in there. Okay, now you should just be able to click the link in the description <laughs> of this video. Okay. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Davy says, apenas estoy aprendiendo inglés. Hey, that's okay though. If you can go on this website and click um, and click on the uh, you know the the where it says water bottle in English, or just click on the um, open source library in English, you know, start reading through. That's what we're here for. Okay, someone says, why don't you make a Discord? And you know what, you're right. Uh, someone else mentioned that earlier. I think Lucas Santos did. So I'm gonna, no, I'm just gonna, I'll do that right now as we speak. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Discord is, um, actually, I'm gonna do it on the computer. Discord is like a, I don't know why I didn't think about doing this earlier. You guys are just full of ideas. That's actually a big part of why I have this. I learn a lot from you guys. You guys kind of inspire me and give me good, good ideas, good, good information. I'll plug in my laptop really quick. Okay. Uh, open Discord. Abrir Discord. Okay. Or if someone, one of you guys, can. Uh... Okay. So. Uh... Hey, how have you been? I'm good, thank you. Okay, Chen Yol's wife says, what are we talking about? Ah, here, I'll share this link one more time. So we're talking about the open source language um, project, okay? So this is an opportunity for you guys to help me create free language learning material that anyone can use to learn any language, okay? So whatever your native language is, you can help contribute to this project. All right, um, I'm literally just gonna create a Discord server right now as we speak. If I figure out how to do it, add a server. Okay, create my own. It's gonna be called uh, Free, the Open Source Lessons Project. That's what it's called. Okay, Open Source Lessons Project. We're gonna create it. I'm not doing any videos or anything. Um, any, um, Okay, I'm not going to create like a profile picture or anything right now because I don't want to do that while I'm live streaming. How do I share this Discord server? Um, and how do I make this open to the public? Um, user settings? No, not user settings. Sorry about this, guys. I am going to get back here in just a second. Um, okay, invite your friends, personalize your server. Send your first message. Let's go ahead and invite your friends. Um, or send a server invite. Okay. Um, invite never expires. No limit. Okay. New link. All right. Here is the link to the Discord server. Is it share? Link to the Discord server. I just shared it twice. Oh, well, <laughs> you can access it twice. So if you're on Discord and you like using that, um, I literally just created this Discord server as we speak. 
Lucas Santos says, hey, the Spanish translation is really great. I didn't find any mistake. Excellent. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. But I am glad, you know, now we know, right? Because we had a native speaker um, proofread it. Hey, I'm really excited about this, you guys. This is really great. I'm, uh, I wasn't quite sure what the reaction would be, but everyone is really encouraging and everyone seems to be really excited about participating in this project. Um, so let's see, I'm also going to add this, uh, uh, to, to, um, join the discussion about this project, you can check out the discord server here. All right. So we're going to save that as well. All right. So now the disc, the link to the discord server is also in the, uh, in the in the description of this video okay um okay Chenyol's wife says portuguese as muito bonito i i don't know how to pronounce that Muy, muito bonito okay um can you help create a routine for someone i'm in learning french for te exams i have about seven months yes um we will talk about that in fact i'm going to take more questions off topic mm, towards the end of this video but right now i want to kind of stay on topic okay um billy and sierra jackson says your audio and visual have improved good job thank you thanks i'm using this yeti i've actually had this yeti for years and just don't usually use it <laughs> So I guess I probably should. I don't know why I never did. I bought it. It's $150 or something. Um, paid for it. Okay, Nicole Faria says, tell me more about your classes. Um, if you're interested in taking private lessons with me, um, you can actually use the same link that I sent to the uh, the free lessons. Um, you know, we don't, we don't need to talk too much about my private lessons. But yeah, I do French, Spanish, English lessons, uh, as well as like guitar lessons. Um, and, and it's on the same website. You can, you know, just go to the, the home page of the website that I sent you. But um, right now, I want to focus more on the free lessons that uh, everyone. This is very exciting. I'm. It's it's motivating to me to see how excited you guys are about this. Um, Chen Yul's wife says, "I know English, Spanish, and Greek. Um, if you're proficient in all of those languages, it would be great to get some translations of the stories. In fact, um, especially." <laughs> maybe a little bit selfishly, if you wanted to translate the story on there, the example story into Greek, that would be really good. <laughs> um, you know, no pressure if you're, if you're not into that or if you don't, you know, if you don't wanna uh, spend time translating. Um, whoa, holy cow, there's already a whole bunch of people joining the, the, the Discord service. Oh, that was fast. Got a lot of Discord people. Hey there, I'm from Peru and I'm 19. Nice to meet you all. Hey, Davey, thanks for joining. I'm gonna share the link to the website here on the Discord as well. Cool, man. There's a lot of enthusiasm for this already. I'm kind of surprised. That's great. Okay. Uh, okay. Copa chat. Uh, Sorry, I don't. Copa chat sornchai says my native language is Thai. Hey, I'm not gonna try to push you or pressure you. No pressure. But if you wanted to go on this website and help us create some Thai content, I would be really grateful for that. Um. You know, any language that you guys want to add, I will be very grateful for. But especially if you can add Thai content or translate some of the stories into Thai, that would be really exciting for me personally because I am actively learning Thai. Okay. Um, Irene Verene Ramos says, I can help with French and Portuguese. That's awesome. Hey, um, Rafa, if you're joining, I... Um, Rafa, I see you're on the Discord, so I'm not sure if you're here or not. But I remember you writing some stories in Esperanto. Very short, but that's okay. Very short is okay. You know, one page, one paragraph. Hey, it's a contribution. Um, and 
if yeah, if you, I don't know what, what you did with those stories, but if you wanted to just share them on here, you know, something that you already have created, it's very low effort to just add those. And then, you know, other people can add translations and stuff too. Um, for those who are just joining, you can check out the website to this project um, here. Just shared it in the chat again. <laughs> um, there's the website to the chat. Um, or, I'm sorry, there's the website. Ah, Ra Rafa is here. Um, he says, yeah, that's a good idea. They're micro novels, exactly 100 words long. Hey, that's, I mean, 100 words though, that's perfect for a beginner. If you're just learning a language, you know, you can't read a whole novel. You ain't gonna break out crime and punishment, right? But you can read a hundred words and you can intensively read, you can intensively study that paragraph, that micro novel. Um, so uh, yeah, this is really exciting. I'm, I'm glad you guys are, are so enthusiastic about this. Rachel Hesseris says, do you know anyone who knows some French or Italian braille systems? I'd like to have access to some books in these languages, but I'm not literate in them yet. Hmm. I actually don't know anyone, but I would be willing to bet one of my subscribers probably knows someone who is who is knowledgeable about Italian and Braille, Italian and French Braille systems. Um, again, I would recommend checking out Chanel. I believe her name is Chanel Hansen, right? Is that right? Someone on here has to know Chanel, right? Uh, she did a video on my channel a few months ago. Chanel, Chanel language, um, Chanel Hancock, I'm sorry, Chanel Hancock. Um, here's Chanel's channel. Um, yeah, just look up Chanel Hancock. Um, she is blind and she learns languages and so she talks about, you know, um, what it's like learning languages blind. Okay. Um, I can help with Tamil. Eddie S says, I can help with Tamil. Excellent. Hey, that's the beauty of this open source. It's a grassroots thing, right? It's probably going to be very difficult to find Tamil resources, right? It's not one of those most commonly studied languages, French, German, Spanish, English, right? Someone learning Tamil is probably going to struggle. But if you can do something to give back to the community, create material for people um, learning Tamil, um, you know, hey, let's share it. Let's let's do what we can. Sorry, I'm trying to keep a, keep a look on the Discord server first. Okay, someone asks, where should we start first? Okay, um, if you can create an original story of your own, that would be great. Um, also, if you can translate an existing s story, that's also extremely helpful. Okay, let, now let me see here. I'm going to go to my Gmail because people might already be submitting submissions here. I just have it automatically send me a uh, email when someone wants to submit something. Okay, no submissions yet, but hey, I mean, it's, you know, uh, that's cool. Okay, um, Oli says, I can help with Brazilian Portuguese. That's excellent. Um, yeah, we, we already have people uh, uh, offering to help with Portuguese, Italian, German. Ellis says, hi from Italy, I could help with Italian, German, French, and maybe Russian. Uh, also, Chenyel's wife says, I have a lot of books in Greek. We have people offering to help in Tamil. Uh, Rafa, I know, has written stories in Esperanto before. Um, plus, we've had multiple people offer to help in Portuguese. I've had some people already proofreading my story written in Spanish, which is it's good to hear that my Spanish hasn't degraded in the six years since I really started, well, no, it's been about four years since I lived in a Spanish-speaking country. Um, Asiatic Ma God Mathematics says, I'm a new subscriber. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, 
Okay, and Lucas Santos says, don't forget to write stories in English too, please. Yes, that's absolutely true. Um, I'm assuming English will probably just by, kind of by default be the most common language people submit things in because most people, I mean, realistically, if you're part of my channel and you are listening to what I'm saying, then you speak English probably, at least to some extent, right? So, um, but I... I, a huge portion of my viewers are learning English. Um, so if you can submit something in English, I've already, you know, I have submitted uh, two stories and a video in English. Um, and if you can, uh, you know, if you're learning English, that can be helpful to you. Um, obviously, the first story that I submitted is just kind of dumb. It's about looking for a missing water bottle, right? But that's okay. It just can't kind of came up with it off the top of my head. And anyone can now use it to go learn English or Spanish because I've translated it. It's now been proofread in Spanish by a native speaker. Um, and, and, you know, and if you want to add your own content for helping people learn English, it, it doesn't matter what language you speak, okay? It doesn't matter... If you are, even if you only speak one language, you're not able to translate anything, that's okay. You can write something in your native language. You can write something in English. Okay. Um, Davy says, sad face. Why sad face, Davy? Ah, um, Davy says, yeah, I speak English, but I don't matter yet. Um, well, we're here to help you. We're here to help you learn English. That's what this project is all about. So, chin up. Um, Lucas Santos says English. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, Asiatic God Mathematics says, I like English because it's also English because it comes from the word Anglo. True. Anglo Saxon, right? Um, I know I'm missing a lot of comments in here, guys. I'm sorry. There's just a lot of comments going on. Okay. I'm a teacher at an inter international school in Zhengzhou, China. I can do it myself, but I could get my Mandarin plus Cantonese plus Chinese sign language friends to help with the project. That would be excellent, okay? Because I know Chinese, Mandarin Chinese especially is a um, is a big part of, um, you know, it, it, it's a, one of those big languages that a lot of people are learning. Um, and so that would be helpful. I can't help at all with Mandarin, right? But that's what this community is for. We can find someone who can help with any language. Um, Cantonese would be great too. Also Chinese sign language. Now here's the interesting thing. I don't know how, can you write sign languages? Uh, I don't know if there's a method for that. But there's also a function in here where we can share videos. Okay, so if you want to either narrate a, a one of the stories that's been written in your native language, um, right, like here I have the, the story called The Water Bottle. And, but it's just the story right now. There's also a, a video. But um, if you wanted to go through and narrate, if you're a native speaker of English, you want to narrate the water bottle. Or if you're a native speaker of Spanish and you want to narrate the Spanish version, la botella de agua, um, create a YouTube video or you know a, a SoundCloud clip or something and share that link. I'll share it on the website. Um, I'll, I'll share it in the library along with the... Um, uh, uh, along with the, the written portion, and I'll share a, a link to the audio in the in the doc itself. This whole thing is going to be made by Google Docs, by the way. Um, yeah, then, then you know, then someone will be able to include listening practice and reading practice. It, but if we can find people willing to narrate the stories that are already written. Okay, Chen Yol's wife says, I don't know about writing my own stories, but I could share non-copyrighted material in Greek, like Jules Verne or Jane Austen. Would, would it be okay? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would be okay. Like, um, I'm really excited about people here uh, coming up with their own content and kind of being a community to help each other out. But, you know, it's just a library, right, of things that we're making. Um, I could maybe include like an advanced section for, of Jane Austen and Jules Verne books. Um, but the, pr the main point of this is that I want to have easy beginner 
level content, right? Which is why if you look at the, the stories that I've shared on, on the, the website already, um, there, there's guidelines for what to share. Um, if you look at the, the two stories that I've shared, the one that's been translated into English and Spanish, and then the one that's only in English so far, because I haven't had time to translate it in Spanish. Um, they're written in the style of a play. They're written in the style of a play, okay? And the reason I like plays is because it it's very obvious who's speaking, okay? It, they're highly dialogue based, and it's always very clear who's speaking if you write it like a play. If you write it more like a novel, novels are okay, you know, that's fine. Um, especially if they're very short, you know, if it's a short story, that's easy to understand. But I find the, the format of a play is exceptionally easy to understand because it's always very clear. You're not left confused about who's saying what. Oh, I have a super chat from Dr. Stein. Thanks. That's actually the first super chat I've ever received. He says, bendicime, compadre. I'm not sure. Oh, bendicime, compadre. <laughs> I, yeah, I appreciate that. That's uh, really kind. This is the first super chat I've ever received. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, a super chat is like a... Uh, a uh, um, donation to a uh, to a YouTube channel that you want to support. Um, so, Dr. Stein, if you have any, you know, if you have any questions or something, a lot of times the super chat will come along with a specific question that you bring to the top. Uh, so, I appreciate that. Anyways, um, uh, let's see, where were we? That's why they all have that music playing in the stores. Jeff L. Frank says, it kind of sucks to be honest. It should be at least the same system from a whole language. Wait, I think I'm missing part of the conversation here. Okay. Um, many people are supersized to learn that sign language is not international or are surprised to learn that sign language is not international. Uh, even American sign and British sign languages are different. Yeah, they're like totally different linguistic systems, right? And the other thing people are surprised about is that the grammar of sign language, American sign language, is completely different from the grammar of American English, right? They're just two totally, um, two very separate uh, uh, linguistic systems. They're not even related, right? Yeah, Chen Yo's wife says, be blessed, Dr. Stein. Yes, I agree, be blessed. Uh, okay, Jack, uh, Jeff Elkring says, many people are saying, Okay, one of my favorite words is entrance because entrance also means to go in trance or in a trance. Yes, quite a bit surprised myself when I found out about that at Joe. This is from Lang Tech Academy. Yeah. Um, okay, Chen Yul's wife says, I got uh, some plays too in children's books, not copyrighted, but not mine. I will try translating them too. Hey. That would be great. Um, you know, anything you can do to participate and help um, support the community, that's what we're here for. Um, this, by the way, did I even share the um, link to the library itself? Um, here, I'm going to share the link to this library. I know I shared the, the website. Um, anyone with the link can view. OK. Um, Here's the link to the uh, to the library itself, the open source lessons library, where you can just go in and read the content that has already been added. Okay, uh, and it, like if you, for example, if you go into English, it has intermediate and beginner. The, the the intermediate there's only one story in the intermediate right now. It's called After It Came, sort of a horror post post apocalyptic story that I wrote. Okay. Then if you go to the water bottle, the, the beginner section, there's only one story in there as well, water bottle. Um, but there's a little link inside the story itself that says, for a video adaptation of the story, click here. And if someone is willing to, um, if you're willing to 
narrates the story, just read it over briefly, right? Or maybe, you know, maybe you get yourself and one other person to like read the different parts of the play, or you can do a different voice for different parts of the play, you know, uh, whatever it is. Um, then I'll add that link to the story itself as well. So that someone who's reading the story just says, you know, they, they, they click on the story and they see, hey, this story is called The Water Bottle. And it's, um, it's called The Water Bottle. And it's, uh, and, and I'm going to read it. And I can also listen to it because there is a link, a thing right at the top that says to hear the story. Then you just click the link and for the audio, right? For the audio book. Um, all right, Lang Tech Academy says, I think you sent the wrong link, mate. Oops, sorry. Yes, I, I'm sorry about that. I uh, probably didn't copy the link. Okay, here, <laughs> I apologize for that. Okay, get the link, copy the link. Okay, there you go. That should be the link. Yes, I definitely see that I um, <laughs> used the wrong link earlier. Okay, uh, there's the link to the the library itself. It's a Google. It's just a Google Docs, a Google Drive folder of stories that we are going to create and collect and translate and proofread and continually add to. So Kekro Kekro says, "How to get a grip on English linguistics?" Um, uh, well, I have a video series called Linguistics 101. It's all about linguistics, the science of language, right? So if you're interested in that, you can check out that video series. Okay. Um, so by the way, do we have any other questions about the project itself? I know we have people coming and going in. So a lot of you have probably missed the beginning of this. Um, by the way, I, I should have, uh, I mentioned this earlier. So if you go to the website of the project, the project, go to the project website. I'm going to share the link one more time. That's the project website. You scroll down, it starts, it says open source project at the beginning. Then it goes down to examples. You scroll down past that, you scroll, scroll down past how you can help, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. All right, there is a section, a padlet that says discuss the project here. Okay. If you guys could, if someone could just go and click on the discuss the project here and add a little note just to make so I can see that it works. Um, I might actually replace this section with the Discord later, now that we have that. Um, but uh, for now, just to, for me to see that it works, if you could help out with that, that would be good. Just leave a little comment, say, hey, the Padlet works, or I'm excited to for this project. Okay. Um, all right, now I want to read the section that says how you can help. All right, if you go to the website, it's like the third section. Um, after the, It's right after the examples section, how you can help. All right, this project will require the collaboration of a lot of different types of people. No matter what your skills are, you can help in one of the following ways. One, writers. If you feel like you're able to write original stories for this project, um, in your native language or a language that you're fluent in. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you speak only one language, you can write a short story, right? You can contribute something. So writers, write short stories designed for beginners or intermediate language learners in any language. Be sure to use beginner or intermediate level vocabulary. It is best to format beginner story plays uh, I'm sorry, it's best to format beginner stories as a play, as this simplifies things and always makes it clear which character is talking. To submit a story of your own, you can use the form below or send a link to, to a, uh, uh, send a link to a Google Doc with your short story in it. All right, so you know, if you scroll down beneath the how you can help, portion, it says, submit your content here in big, bold letters. And then you can just fill out the little form. Uh, you know, um, I am cre I'm submitting an original story. It's in Spanish. And here's the link to the story. You know, then you just uh, and then click submit. All right. So that's number one, writers. If you 
can write a story, even if it's dumb. You know, my water bottle story is kind of dumb. It's just two people looking for a water bottle, but that's okay because it's it's not designed to be Shakespeare. It's designed to help people learn a language. Ah, Anonymous left a comment on the discussion board. Okay, good, so it works. Hold on, let me go see if, if, uh, if I can see this comment. I'm just leaving a comment to test and see if it works. Okay, great. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are. Okay. All right, and you can actually see that comment on the website itself too, by the way. Um, okay, so that's number one. If you can write a story in your target in your native language to help other people. Um, wait, I'm missing comments here. Okay, I will write a Spanish story. If someone wants to translate it to English, it would be great. Story in Spanish. Ah, and then Chaniel's wife says, Lucas, I can translate it for you. Great, we already have collaboration there. Yeah, um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. If you guys can take half an hour, an hour, write a short story, you know, 10 minutes. It didn't take me very long to write the water bottle. Um, and then, you know, just submit it. I, you can email it to me if it's easier for you, and then I'll add it to the, the website. Okay, so that's number one, if you can write a story in your native language or a language that you're very proficient in. Okay, I'm not a native speaker of Spanish, but I did translate my water bottle story. Um, but then we also had uh, proofreaders go through and make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, number one, if you're a writer, you can help that way. Number two, translators. If you want to submit a translation of a story that already exists in our collection, you can use the form below. It's the same form that you would use to submit an original story. I will accept translations in any language. This can be a huge help to those who are learning languages with few learning resources available. Please submit only translations if you are a native speaker or an advanced second language speaker of the language you are translating it into. So um, if you are, you know, uh, if you're learning Spanish and you think you can help uh, do so, but we're just going to have to check to make sure like we don't want people learning Spanish from from resources that were poorly translated okay now on the other hand if you're a native speaker of English um, let's say you're a native speaker of Spanish and your English isn't that great uh, I guess you could still technically translate an English story into Spanish right because you're a native speaker of Spanish you're writing a Spanish document and you can double check to make sure the Spanish is correct that's the important part whether or not it's a perfect translation of the original English version isn't as important as much as will the final product in Spanish be correct Spanish? Because we don't want people learning Spanish with, with poor Spanish stories. Daniel's wife says, I can write stories. Expect a lot of them to be about Greek mythology and space, the final frontier. Uh, do we have a Star Trek fan here? Yeah, that's great. Space, any story, it doesn't matter what the genre is. You know, I wrote one that's like a sort of a horror post-apocalyptic story. And then the other one is just two people on a camping trip looking for a water bottle, right? Uh, in fact, a wide variety of genres would actually be good because we can interest people who have a lot of different ideas. Okay, number three. So the first two are if you're a writer and you can write in your native language or in a language that you're advanced in. The second one, if you're a translator and you can help translate a story that already exists, that's very helpful. Number three, proofreaders. Okay, with an open source platform like this, mistakes will inevitably arise. And we don't want people learning bad Spanish from mistakes, okay? If you can submit a correction to any of our content, please do so. There are two ways to do this. Number one, submit your correction via the submission form below. Now, that's the same that's the same form where um, you could submit an original story or a translation. You can also submit a correction there. Second way to add corrections is each story will be stored on a Google Doc with commenting enabled, okay? So the Google Doc, you'll be able to go on the Google Doc, read through it, and if you see a mistake, you can comment directly on the Google Doc itself. 
If you wish to make a small correction to a story, you can just leave a note in a comment on the Google Doc itself, letting us know what the correction should be. Okay, hopefully most of you guys are familiar with Google Drive. Um, learn Syrian dialect with TV series it says, hi, I'm here to learn English. You're at the right place. I speak a lot of English on this channel. Um, also here, I'm gonna share this link with you as I've been sharing it all morning or afternoon or English or whatever your time is there. Um, I have, so far we have two stories in English and one video in English that you can just read through. It's one is a beginner story. The next one is an intermediate story. Okay, Alice Rizzonelli says, uh, can we write stories in the forms of plays like you did? Yes, absolutely. I would prefer that actually, you know, uh, I think the best way to learn is from uh, plays. That I, if you're reading, I think a play is an excellent format for a beginner. The other format that I think is really good for learning is um, graphic novels and comics. Okay, so if you have illustration skills, we could use that too. I didn't, um, I didn't list that on how you can help, but if you're an illustrator and you want to illustrate one of our stories, that would be excellent. Actually, I'm going to, now that I think about it, I'm gonna add that as a section in how, in how you can help. Yeah, I do think the play format is best. Yeah, I, and I understand people are coming in and, and leaving, and so you might not catch all of the, the stream. Um, yes, I, I think plays are great. If you don't want to write it in a play, or if you already have a story that's written as a, uh, uh, like a short novel or something like that written in paragraph form, that's okay too, you know. Um, as long as it's written for beginners or intermediate, right? Um, what about poems? Yeah, yeah, hey, poems are, yeah, that's fine. Um, if it's written for a beginner, right? Like, so poetry can get a little bit metaphorical and abstract sometimes, a little bit more difficult to understand. Um, but if you, you know, if you write a poem that's clear for people to understand and it's not difficult, doesn't use too difficult vocabulary or anything like that, then that would be great. Yeah. Jack F. Elfrink says, question, do these submissions need to be fiction slash stories slash plays? I, uh, I like tabletop games a lot and I have a long thought of making multi-language explanations of how to play popular board games. Um, it doesn't have to be fiction. No, it could be like a, um, you know, a, a, you could have a nonfiction article or something if it's designed for beginners. Um, I, um, you should check out my my, uh, my new podcast. Actually, I just this week, actually, just like two days ago, my friends and I started a new new podcast about language learning with tabletop RPG games. Um, here, I'll show you, I'll show you the link to that as well. Sorry, this is a shameless plug for my other channel. <laughs> okay, YouTube. Um, it's called Lang Gamers, and we, uh, we're gonna play various tabletop games in, um, in, in different languages. Here, I'll share the link to that channel really quickly. Um, but that's totally off topic. Uh, so here is the link. Recipes, I found quite easy to learn Korean with them. Recipes, yeah, I mean, um, you know, this is an open source thing. It's a grassroots thing. I, I don't want it to be like the uh, the dictator of what can or cannot go in there. I, I, my only concern is keeping it relatively, um, relatively easy to navigate. Cause if it's just like, thousands of recipes and poems and novels and like translations and like thousands and thousands of things, um, then it's, it'll be a little bit harder to go on and find what you're looking for. Uh, I do want to have a lot, a lot of content, um, but we'll just have to come up with some sort of organization system uh, on the Google Drive. Uh, just to make sure um, 
we're keeping things separately, right? Because if you want to go on and just read a short story in Spanish, and then you have to sort through poems and recipes and you know scientific articles and stuff like that, uh, it might be a little bit difficult. Okay, Elu says, I'm an hour late. Can you please give a summary? Yes. All right, I'm going to share this link one more time. I appreciate everyone joining, you know, uh, kind of thing. Okay, here's a summary. I just shared a link to the website. All right, this is a open source project. It's a grassroots project that anyone can participate in. Okay. Um, and, and the links are below as well. Okay, you, you can help create content for this project by writing stories. It doesn't have to be a story. I mean, you know, if you want to write like an autobiography, you know, here's a story that happens to me when I was in seventh grade and it's like entertaining or it would have, someone would have some reason to read it. You can submit that content, uh, no matter what language it's in. Um, you can, as long as it's easy enough to be read by beginners or intermediate learners of the language, okay? So you use basic vocabulary, maybe you use some repetitive style, right? Just to keep giving people extra practice. So you can write stories and submit them on this website. You can also translate stories that we've already written, translate them into languages that we don't have yet on the channel, okay? Um, there's also, I, we just created a Discord server. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but um, someone suggested it. Multiple people suggested it, so I just created that. And that, that, descript, that link is in the description of this video as well. So if you want to uh, keep the conversation going on Discord, that would uh, be very helpful. Got another comment on the Padlet. Let's see here. Anonymous. Maybe that's the same comment. I don't know. Anyways, um, Mr. Universe says, kindly upload lectures on English linguist for qualifying lecture. Uh, I have some lectures on on my YouTube channel about linguistics, if that's what you're interested in. Just Google uh, YouTube search Linguistics 101. Okay, I'm Mortal says, the server I'm talking about is Spanish speaking, but English is spoken the same. If you want to join, I'll pass the link. Uh, okay. I am the owner of a Discord server in which languages are learned. Yeah, you can share that link on here if you want. Okay, Lucas Santos says, hey, that's great. Of course, send it. Yeah, yep. anyone who is interested in that can join. Um, okay, the other thing I was thinking about is we might need some kind of like moderators or um, helpers, okay, because I don't know, especially if people start adding a lot of content to this. Um, it might be too much for me to manage all on my own. Um, so, you know, if you're on the Discord server or if you want to be really involved and help out, you can message me, leave me a comment right here. Um, you can send me an email. Here's my email. LinkedIn.languages at gmail.com. Or leave me a comment on my videos. Uh, I do read all the comments that people leave on my videos, by the way. Um, so, yeah, so uh, if you want to like be a helper, a moderator or something, I don't, is moderator the right term? It's just, it might be a little bit too much for me to run this whole thing on my own if we start getting lots of submissions. Um, so, yeah, so we might need people just to help like weed through some of the stories. You know, if I get 10 Portuguese translations of the water bottle, um, you know, how are we going to decide which one gets put up? And, you know, uh, okay. Uh, El Yul says, thanks for explaining. I can help with Turkish translations. That's excellent. You're the first person so far who has brought up Turkish translations. So, um, yeah, if you want to click on that link and you can translate the, uh, some of the existing stories that we already have on there, or if you want to write your own stories in Turkish, um, that would be, yeah, that would be great. That would be very helpful. Um, Professor X says, hi there, which kind of help? Um, wait, Miss Universe says, uh, Miss Universe here is the link to the videos on English linguistics that he mentioned. Check it out. 
Yeah, okay, great. Thanks for sharing that. Okay, Rafa says, yeah, for one thing, you can't measure the quality of the writing slash translation of languages you don't know. It makes sense to have a few trusted sources to check that out. Yeah, right, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, if we, if we, especially if we get a more vibrant Discord community of people who represent a wide variety of languages, you know, like we have someone who is fluent in Mandarin and someone who speaks, you know, get all the most, most common ones, uh, especially. And then we at least have someone who can read through a story and just make sure that it's quality, right? Because again, that's what I want proofreaders for. You don't want to upload a bunch of content for, for people to read that's full of mistakes. Okay. Um, Professor X says, well, I am a Brazilian. So you could help with Portuguese, presumably, right? Chenyel's wife, I gotta go. I'll check out the site later. Thanks. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you coming. Okay, so uh, Professor X says, which kind of help? So I'm gonna really quickly go over the ways you can help again. I mentioned this earlier, but I realized people are coming and going. So, okay, ways you can help. And again, I'm gonna share this website just because everyone's coming and going. I'm gonna keep sharing it so it doesn't get lost. All right, here's the website. You click on that website. It says, up first it says, open source language project. You scroll down, then it says examples. You keep scrolling. Then it says, how you can help. That's the whole purpose of this live stream. That's what we're here for, how you can help. This project will require the collaboration of a lot of different types of people. No matter what your skills are, you can help in one of the following ways. Number one, writers. Write short stories designed for beginners or intermediate language learners in any language. Be sure to use beginner or intermediate level vocabulary. Okay, so these are stories that we're gonna write designed for people who are learning. So you don't use too advanced vocabulary. Uh, if you can avoid it. It's best to format beginner stories as a play. You know, I mentioned earlier why plays are just very easy to read because they list exactly who is talking and it's not it's not difficult to understand. Okay, if you have a story that you want to submit in the form of a paragraph or something, that's fine too. I just, I, I like to recommend plays, that, that format, it's easy to understand. Okay. Um, to submit a story of your own, you can use the form below, send a link to a Google Doc with your own with your short story in it. Yeah, and so then you just scroll down and there's a section that says submit your content here. Okay, so number one is writers. Number two, translators. If you want to submit a translation of a story that already exists in our collection, you can use the form below, same form. I will accept translations in any language. Please only submit translations if you are a native speaker or an advanced second language speaker of the language that you are translating into. So you can see the one translation into Spanish that I already have up there. I translated that myself. I'm not a native Spanish speaker, but my Spanish is good enough that I can that I think I can uh, safely do that. Um, also, we want true proofreaders though, right? So that brings me to my third one which Lucas Santos already read through my story and he said my Spanish was, was pretty good. So um, that's encouraging. All right, number three, proofreaders. With an open source platform like this, mistakes will inevitably arise. If you can submit a correction to any of our content, please do so. There are two ways to do this. Number one, submit your correction via the submission form below. That's the same form for submitting your own content. And number two, each story will be stored on a Google Doc with commenting enabled. If you wish to make small corrections to a story, you can just leave a note in a comment on the Google Doc itself. And number four, narrators and videographers. We won't just stop at written stories. I encourage you to create audio recordings and videos of our stories or you know, illustrations, comic books of our stories you know, and anything. Um, if you create an audiobook or a video of one of our stories, please leave a link to your creation in the submission form below, and I will submit uh, I, and, and I will list the link to your content in the library. So, um, ah, Elio just asked, can we add audio? Yes, absolutely. That's what I was just mentioning. If you want to narrate a story and send me a link to that, um, then you can. Uh, then I will include the link in the story itself so that people can listen to the audio while they read. Elul says, oh, the stories are not only, 
in English. Okay, I thought they were only in English. Of course, I can write some th stories and dialogues in Turkish, and I'll try my best for translating. Great. That's excellent. By the way, uh, if you missed the um, if you missed the discussion board, I you can find that here for continued discussion. Um, yeah, if you want to write an original story in Turkish or Thai or anything, especially if you're learning Thai, if you speak Thai, you're really valuable to me personally because I'm learning Thai. Um, but yeah, if you speak Turkish or whatever, you can write a story in whatever language you like. Okay. Um, or you can translate our English stories into Turkish or Thai or uh, what, whatever way you want to go, right? If we have a French story that's up there and you want to translate the French story into Turkish and you speak both of those languages well, you can do that, right? It's um, This is a cross-platform thing. I don't think I used the term cross-platform correctly, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. Um, so anyways, yeah, I really appreciate all the support. Everyone here seems to be very enthusiastic about this. So I'm going to end the live stream right here. Elul says, amazing idea. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm glad that people are so excited about this. I'm going to end the live stream here. Uh, please take half an hour today or tomorrow and, uh, create something, help the world out, help the other language learners in this community and send me a link on either on the submission form or you can just email it directly to me if you want. Um, yeah, that's everything I have to say, I guess. So we will see you guys very soon. Peace out.